Hi guys, this is Emnal and welcome back to our Czechoslovakian playthrough. Before we continue, one very important thing that I completely forgot about, uh, which is changing this awful color to something else. Sadly, this is actually a color Czechoslovakian map is painted with. Well, someone in Paradox hates them, but well, there we go. Now we have nicely dark blue. And well, while we are at it, let's uh, give our handsome general a jab. Now, uh, once again, we are waiting for the 30 days uh, in case we decide to switch something around. All right, so industrial legacy finished. Okay, now we have a decision to make. We are going to continue this uh, this way, and there are three, as you can see, three way to go, uh, three ways to go about it. We can get two, three civilian factories here, and well, that's what happens for the rest of it. We can get two civilian factories. Um, this third one will uh, additionally decrease the consumer goods needed by one, and this one will uh, get uh, rid of a divided nation bit, which uh, well, uh, decreases national unity by 20%, which is well potentially deadly. Recruitable population by uh, half percent, which at this point uh, basically cuts it by 33%. And, uh, well, those 2% uh, consumer good factories. Uh, normally, you, you're probably, uh, you'd be probably wise to, to go this way. But since this is, uh, for us at least, the only way to get rid of divided nation, uh, the other way is right here, but that's only for fascists. Thing is, however, that, uh, well, it will be a while till we actually reach that, so the uh, will be beyond the point of make it or break it. For that reason, I would not go. I'm not going to go for this one. I'm going to go to start with either one of those. And now we need to do some math. So production efficiency growth is uh, okay, but uh, five percent of it is nothing to write home about. Uh, not with the amount of uh, factories we are building, which isn't, you know, uh, tremendous. And uh, so what we are left here is 5% uh, consumer good factories compared to uh, free civilian factories. Now, uh, if, if you take a look at here, uh, with 27 civilian factories, uh, with, with 27 factories, that amounts to around one point, well, just under 1.5 factory, so 1.4 or whatever, uh, which means that, well, we are better off at least at the start by getting actual civilian factories uh, rather than investing in, uh, rather than getting this, this bit. Uh, of course, there is a small a uh, thing of minus 5% production cost for infantry, but that's once again, um, that and uh, minus 2% consumer goods doesn't actually cut it uh, compared to the uh, free civilian factories. So we're going to go for this one. And as you can see, that uh, didn't even increase the, uh, the consumer goods uh, factories used and uh, simply increased. Uh, well, okay, I'm I'm talking nonsense, of course, because we only bloody picked that one, and it hasn't happened yet. And we had nine factories working there. Okay, it's it's late. Hmm, what the, are we going to pick now? As far as research goes, it's August, so we uh, would waste too much research if we were to go for thirty-seven bits. Uh, engineering, uh, we already discussed that we that we cannot afford it. We are already working on that. Uh, now there are several researches that we will want uh, to have before the war starts. Uh, normally, you would want uh, to go with anti-tank against Germany, of course. But uh, actually, the anti-air that we already have researched. Uh, provides some piercing, 25 compared to 75. Mm, but in this case, uh, if we were to put, uh, let's take it, uh, 
support anti air and standard anti air that uh, basically uh, gives us 14.6 piercing. And that is enough to pierce light armor divisions. And since the Second World War is going to start a year earlier if Germany attacks us, that means that they are not going to have uh, those medium tanks handy. Which once again means that we, uh, our divisions uh, equipped with anti-air will be uh, able to actually pierce the uh, all the enemy armor while having additional bonuses of anti-air, which is uh, preventing enemy uh, close air support from shooting us. Sometimes, the, uh, well, sometimes they, they are going to shoot some of those close air support, but. Uh, most of the time it just results in them uh, cancelling the attack, uh, which, well, boils down to the same thing. Uh, we are not going to die uh, from being bombed into the Stone Age. Uh, also, it decreases the effect uh, of uh, enemy air superior, uh, superiority on our troops, which is all uh, fine and dandy. Actually, if we remove that, that's 13, so yeah, we, can, uh, we can simply just go with that, although that will be less of a air attack and thus less of a uh, decrease in uh, in air thing uh, in their superiority thing and less defense against the bombers we'll see but uh, this is how uh, that's why we i'm not going for the uh, for the anti tank because our anti air is going to work as an anti tank in this specific game nothing here of course and a uh, we will want, of course, to get that engineering company, but I will leave it for now, and I will simply get, I guess, um, support weapons. Well, we want those uh, Olympiad. Uh, right, what we want is this, 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 before the war starts. Uh, artillery bonus, uh, maybe anti-air upgrade, but that's only 10%, which is awful compared to, like, plus 20%. Percent piercing that this provides, which is silly, but well, so this not so much, and of course, uh, engineering company. That's uh, and as I mentioned earlier, those three doctrines. Uh, that is our that's okay. So this is working. We should get research. Yes, thirty days so we'll be able to continue building. A uh, few more factories in those 70 and 80 percent districts. Uh, all right, let's now uh, take a look here. So that increased. Uh, one of those factories went into consumer goods, and two went here. We are going to actually continue this trend and get a uh, get one more, which of course makes sense because 27 of our factories are uh, going into consumer goods. So. Um, so the time one of them will go in, uh, unless there will be an auto equation and, uh, well, uh, it's every few, uh, few factories, one will not, uh, be eaten by it. Okay, this person in the dust tree, there we go. Mm. Let's see. Uh, okay, we are in November. That's 15% increase. Mm -hmm. We want to go straight for it. Oh, we're going to wait. Once again, we are going to switch uh, this one before it finishes the 30 days that we have banked up there. We are going to put into uh, more important things, uh, which is industry. Yeah, one month ahead is, is good enough, so uh, this guy is going to work on this, and this is going to switch for that. Yes, uh, of course, uh, well, you probably are aware, but uh, this whole research isn't wasted, it's just, it's here, and uh, uh, when we switch it will be uh, required, it will require the same amount of research that it Require the moment we switch it, uh, switched it off. Uh, all right, uh, a few more factories. Uh, now, 
Uh, we are up to 36, 35. Mm. Still, the equation is, uh, it's more beneficial for us to pick this over this. Uh, yeah. And do we have okay? So we we already have some infantry equipment spare. Um, I'm not sure if going all the way for f six is uh, is wise. Mm. Mm hmm. Hmm. We'll need to buy one uh, at least one level of steel shortly, uh, which is a pain in the ass, but that's what it is. Uh, 16 days, well, not quite yet. Yeah, but as you can see, um, this is an increase of two factories, and decreasing it by five. Uh, It's actually more or less breaks even right now. Yeah, that would give us two f two factories uh, actually. Uh, still, um, but actually have chance to grow, I guess. No, this is a slightly better deal. So that's what, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There we go. Mm, okay, so we, since we already have some spare infantry equipment, I'm going to do a little bit more in terms of exercises. And... Mm, well, to run maybe five, ten, ten more points, just to be sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm actually going to cut it to five. And... Uh, going to use one of the... Uh, civil manufacturers to get some um, some steel from France. Mm, we are getting what minus twenty percent, I believe here, but I don't think it's worth getting. Uh, mm, maybe I mean we're on the edge on the um, support equipment actually. So this is what minus seven point five, and this is minus twenty percent. That would give it a limit. Uh, edit, add additional fifteen percent to that. Suddenly we are pretty low on tungsten as well. Probably tungs going for tungsten would be better, considering that uh, total artillery is more important. Uh, well, not yet. Let's just. And do more, do more actual building. Uh, let's above this, above this, and add more. That's next, and that's next. There we go. All right. Um. Now. We are going to get uh, fortifications going, mostly to get a little bit of more manpower. Mm, actually, let's not waste uh, equipment and foc uh, switch to red, I guess. Let's just get the, get the experience because we'll we'll have enough, I, I believe. Hmm. 
All right. Uh, improved machine tools. And trench warfare. All right. Uh, minus three in tanks, then that's what? Minus 7.5. Uh, mm -hmm -hmm. All right. Let's, let's get tanks then. Well, let's get from Britain. I'm from Brits. And are actually pretty quite ahead of the of the curve, so let's actually get both and uh, get that uh, additional um, military fact get those military factories to actually kick in and our our factory production a factory output. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, th those are um, minor details, really. Either either well will probably work for you in the grand scheme of things of what the outcome is going to be, but I kind of like to make min-max things and uh, as well as, of course, discuss why I'm doing it this way or the other uh, for you to make your own decisions uh, based on that. Now, uh, run the battle plan. Uh, those are long researches, so we want that. It's, what, 37. Um, yeah, we're going to go for construction next. We still have quite a lot of constructing to do and should have enough research to research the rest of important things. All right, and now we are already uh, ahead on that. Let's get one more. Oh, never mind. Let's get Beacon of Liberty now, which will uh, decrease our research by 5% uh, since we got to 70 here. And that's a very short one. Only 14 days, uh, a really weird thing, which will get us a little bit out of sync with everyone else, which means that our 14th, uh, so our 15th uh, focus will end uh, two weeks after the start of the war, uh, which is tempting to do this one as the last, of course, as the 15th. But, I don't know, not sure about that. Well, that would mean that we could uh, postpone either defensive preparations or get uh, arms exports now. Uh, I don't know. We have to wait and see. Uh, Alright, we do have some uh, spare equipment already, so let's... Uh, and we're actually going to just train uh, normal ones. All right. We'll later upgrade them. But... All right, more industry. And a Spanish Civil War. Of course, yes, nationalists won, as always. Now, oh, modification of the government. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there isn't much of value here. I mean, plus five percent political power gain wouldn't. Um, was, it simply <laughs> wouldn't pay for itself. Therefore, it's irrelevant. Quartermaster just uh, uh, it's just what uh, air bases, radar stations. We. We won't be able to, to, to afford research for it and so on and so forth. Uh, so we are just going to keep it uh, waiting for the uh, for Japan to go to war and then we'll go for partial mobilization for another 20% uh, to military factory and construction speed. So let's remove that. Okay, we are beacon of liberty now. Uh, okay, I'm going to be greedy and get arms export first. And uh, so, what I'm risking here is that well, I will either get defensive preparations or Sudetenland final fortifications uh, two weeks after the war starts. We shall see how uh, if that's a bad idea. Between now and then, we'll need to get the strategic decision and trust in the West. Uh, Right, and that requires 10% war tension, that's why we cannot pick it. So, but yeah, let's get our industry 
uh, into the next gear. Mm, that's about right. Uh, go do it. Yeah, more or less this this way. Perhaps then mm, add one more. Uh, one more plane, actually, since we do have some spur oil. Ah, let's let's be greedy. This is, I mean, <laughs> if if you are used to playing only majors, this is like uh, such, such change, such pennies on the door. But it's it's really uh, makes or breaks the game sometimes. Maybe not uh, every single decision, as I mentioned, but you know, as a sum of all the parts. Uh, mm -hmm. What do we want now? Mm, still not this. Still not this. Hey, here we would go for if we had more than three research slots and so on and so forth. We would go for battlefield support, definitely. I uh, can't really afford it. Um, Right, it's time to probably uh, start finishing this this bit. Halfway to 38, and then 38, well, we will be at war in, in a year, so... Okay, maybe I'm... A bit too slow, yeah, well, we shall see. I have circumvented the globe, that's nice. I don't remember if Hindenburg died, I just clicked through it. Died, well, if there was a catastrophe. Purge started in Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. yeah, looking good. Arms exports and now um, uh, yeah, one more of those, and then we need to get uh, Chami with the West for the, the further guarantees. I really hope I won't fuck it up, but yeah. Uh, right about now. Japan should be. Yes, okay. Chinese border incident, so in three months uh, uh, it will jump to 20 something and we'll be able to um, boost our war economy. Oh, well, our economy to, to a more warlike. And now I'm just going for the, uh, for the experience here rather than anything else. Alright, uh, I, I guess it's time to put. Uh, no. The front lines, uh, mostly because uh, well, I guess we can put you here, although it doesn't really matter. Uh, but that is because we want uh, those guys to go straight towards this bunch and get uh, no, and get trained. You basically select that and click on the order. And they might as well start getting the planning bonus. Because, well, otherwise I would probably forget about it and that is, it would be a disaster. <laughs> so when is the Anschluss? I think the next one is Anschluss. We have no manpower sadly, but, well, we are working on it. You can see a few years, a few days behind. Uh, all right, uh, let's just go for strategic decisions. Hmm. 
All right. Yes. Uh, so we are um, building more or less enough. Uh, well, we are getting our manpower about uh, in about the pace we are uh, in about the pace we are building our uh, our equipment, which is well what you want. Not wasting uh, it either way. Right, so we finished our engineering company. All right, it's October. Let's see. Uh, of course, nothing. Well, that would be. Uh... Jesus, you, you really get to hear that, uh, don't you? I'm moving like in the middle of a month, so there won't be uh, so much noise uh, shortly. But well, I'm living next to a bloody intersection in the middle of a city, so. Even with closed uh, windows, it's sometimes pretty damn bad. I'm really doing my best to put microphones in such a way that they won't pick it up, but yeah, from looking at the recording, uh, recorded voice, it's not exactly working. And this is, of course, uh, 38, so uh, let's just finish this one. Doesn't really matter if we do it now or in half a year, so no point wasting research. Missed uh, a day or so here in November, so uh, that's in what 30 days. Hmm. Uh, might as well start working on this. All right, uh, we definitely want to use that. Uh, to switch for partial mobilization outright. That's, as you can see, a difference. 5% uh, in consumer goods and 20% in the uh, speed of uh, military factory construction. Speaking of which... Okay, so I... Mm, I don't know how many we built here, but I think this is that would be the, th the fourth one, so uh, probably a fifth. So technically, if we were to build an infrastructure here, here it would kind of pay pay for itself barely, but barely by but by it it would, but that would take us a precious time. That uh, those factories wouldn't be working because they wouldn't exist. So. Uh, still going for the... Uh, the reason why it's uh, 17 here is because we actually got quite a few factories uh, from from the research here. Now we can look through it, but I think we got like 5 or 6 in uh, specifically in Bohemia out of it. Alright. Uh, we, are, we are not going to switch from Volunteer once again because that's... Uh, and that's why we want. Uh, hmm. Well, we could go now for defensive preparations, but I don't think we we need to. Chinese United Front. Oh. Oops. Uh, start working on this, I guess. And so three decisions. Um, now okay, we can we'll hold on to our political power. Uh, later we'll just pick uh, some military high command and military stuff. We'll discuss which ones later. Uh, now I'm not hundred percent sure how this works. Uh, I mean, it works in such a way that 
United Kingdom and France will give you guarantees, but I'm pretty sure that uh, since the guarantees cost political power, you need to pick it early, which is earlier than now, probably. Uh, so normally I would min-max it, uh, risk it and just uh, squeeze in one more of those uh, simply to get some uh, some manpower uh, to uh, to produce units, but uh, I'm I'm just worried that uh, well if we do it too late uh, we wouldn't get guarantees and we would have to uh, solo Germany, which uh, is fairly unlikely. So we are not going to take a chance, and well we are going to take a chance on having too little units in the field, but well that's about it. And alright, with this decision we are going to uh, finish this. In the next episode we are uh, going to uh, re-edit uh, our, uh, our divisions and so on and so forth. And well, perhaps we will even start the war since we are just powering through it at speed 5. So it should be interesting. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you are enjoying the series. If you do, please leave a like. And uh, if you want to see more and of this and uh, some other nations played in Hearts 4, then well, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.